Oh, matter of fact, before we go in and watch this video, do me a solid. Hit the subscribe button below and the notification bell. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Brother, young brothers, who is this and who is that? Jesus. You say that's Jesus. What do y'all say? Jesus. Y'all say that's Jesus too? Yes, sir. Then who is this? God. God. That's God. So you saying that God, this is God, but this is Jesus. So this is the son of him. Is that what you're saying? No, I, I, I guess. Yeah. You see that? You see that little bit of confusion right there? Yeah. Because y'all father is what color? Black. Black. Black, right? So what color sons does he have? Black. Black sons, right? So if this is God and this is his son, does that make sense? It doesn't at all. It doesn't at all, right? So who is this guy? Right? Because we established that this is a, is, is, is a, a sort of depiction of what God looks like. Right? We're going to show you what God looks like. Go, go, to, go back to Daniel. Go back to Daniel. See, this is what we got to do. As older men, as brothers, uh, 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 older brothers with hoary faces, right? Older men, right? Over our children, over our women in, the, in, in, uh, in, in our communities. We got to show them. Look at these brothers over here. We got to show them. We got to let them know what the truth is. The, the Bible says the truth will set us free. That's right. Because if we get set free here, what we going to start doing? We going to start repenting. We gonna start acting the way we should. That's right. Right to get us out of the condition that we in. Daniel chapter seven, verse nine. This is a depiction of what God actually looks like. Y'all young boys, listen. All right. We're gonna show you what the Bible says what God looks like. All right. This is medicine. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. Uh huh. And the ancient of days. The ain't the ancient of days. If somebody is nicknamed the ancient of days. What does that mean? What, if I said, man, you, you asked me how old I, I, I am, and I said, I'm ancient as days. How old am I? You know what the word ancient mean? Super old. Very, very, very old. Right? Ancient means very, very old. Right? Times past, way back then you can count. He said of days. So not only is he old, he's older than days. Right? Meaning he's the uh, alpha and omega. There's no time that can, can, can capsulize the Lord. And the ancient of days did sit. The ancient of days did sit. Right? So this is a vision given by Daniel. He's saying he's seen the Most High. And he said the ancient of days is sitting. He's sitting. Did sit whose garment uh -huh. was white as snow. His garment. So now he's describing the most high God's garment, what he had on his body. And the hair of his head uh -huh. like the pure wool. Like the pure wool. Look at that young brother's hair right there. Look at look at y'all hair. Feel your hair. Y'all ever seen a sheep before? A lamb? Y'all y'all been to the zoo before? Y'all seen a sheep? Petted a sheep before? What does it feel like? Hair, hair. It feels like hair, right? But what kind of hair? Is it flowy? Is it like his hair? Is it flat and dead looking? No. What kind of what kind of hair does sheep have? It's like it's fluffy. Yeah. It's fluffy. That, that's your cousin. That's your brother. It's my cousin. That's my brother. Put your hand. Put your hand on his hair right there. You see? You see what I'm saying? Put your hand on your hair. You touch your head. Read that part again. And the hair of his head like the pure wool that's woolly hair yo your brothers your cousins they got woolly hair just like god just like god y'all ever y'all been to church y'all learned that in church before yeah not for real but yeah. not, not really right they not go they not they didn't tell y'all that they didn't tell y'all that that god has the same hair as y'all you see that medicine that's what our men these brothers over here posted up that's what they should be teaching these children. That's basic. That's 101. At least know who you are. So you can at least find out your offense against God. If you don't know who you are, you're not going to know where you're going. That's an old saying. We all know that term. 
We got to teach these babies. They don't know. Otherwise, they're going to grow up, right? They say, man, I don't believe that mess that the church teaches. But they believe, the church believes this guy, right? The medicine is understanding who this guy is. You see what I'm saying? Come close, bro. Come close. Come close. Come help. Come help me teach these young babies right here. That's we right. telling these we telling these children, our future generation, that Christ and God is black. He looked just like you with hair, just like you. Right? Christ actually walked on this earth. I know, I know that the church like to teach that this fairy tale right here, this soft speaking, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. Just like all of our uncles, Christ spoke loud. He was a dark-skinned man. And he walked upon this earth trying to teach our people how to repent. Thus saith the Lord. Thus saith the Lord. Give me revelations. Now we go. So we showed you what, what God what uh, God looks like. Now let's show you what his son Christ looks like. And I want y'all to tell me, does he look like this guy or that guy? Revelation chapter 1 verse 1. Bring it up. The revelation uh -huh. of Jesus Christ. The word revelation because I know they ain't teach you in church. I know they ain't teach you in church with revelation because they don't know. So no fault to you. They don't know. Revelation means to reveal. Right? Same word. Reveal. What is John about to reveal to us? Which God gave unto him to show unto his servants. To what? To show unto his servants. To show to show seeing with your eyes because everybody claims that nobody know what Christ look like he all colors he olive he white he black he, they will never say he black they'll say he every other color but black right but nobody knows what he looked like as if he never walked the earth right that's like saying uh a thousand years from today what's your name Vic what's your name bro Marcus Marcus that's, that's like a thousand years from now they'll say hey Marcus was every color Vic was every color you know, like he like he actually didn't exist, right? His servants, things which must shortly come to pass. Uh-huh. And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant John. Uh-huh. Who bear record. Who bear what? Who bear record. He bear record, meaning he wrote this down. Read of the word of God and of the testimony of Jesus Christ and all the things that he saw that he saw with his own eyes give me the point verse 14 uh-huh his head and his hairs were white like wool young boys did y'all hear that did y'all hear that read it again read it one more time i want your children to hear that too his head and his hairs were white like wool can somebody hold this up for me because i want them kids to see it back there too go on can you hold it his head and his hairs were white like wool, like wool, like y'all hair, right? Except it was that color. Look at this, look at this older brother, this older gentleman right here. It was like your hair texture, but like his uh his color. You see that? That's what you're looking at right there. Verse 14. Uh huh. Were white like wool, uh -huh. as white as snow. It was as white as snow. And his eyes were as a flame of fire. The reason why his eye, it wasn't that he was beaming out red beamers like he Cyclops. It, what happens to a black man when he drink a little wine, right? Christ drank wine. That's all it was, simple as that. Genesis Get the precept, get the precept. Genesis. Yep, we got the Christ drank wine, simple as that. Right, we all, we all drink wine, we all, you know, drink a little bit, drink a little uh, 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 alcohol, or whatever, right? And our eyes tend to get a little red, right? Simple. It's not hard to understand. Genesis chapter 49, verse 12. Uh -huh. His eyes shall be red with wine. Red with wine. That's the prophecy. So that was written way back in Genesis. And then let's say about a thousand years later, when, uh, uh, when John the Revelator seen him, they seen his eyes was a little red. That shows forth that the prophecy is real, right? Just as real as it says in here that we would go on slave ships. Mm -hmm. That's actually in here. Mm -hmm. That's actually in there, right? Verse 15. Uh -huh. And his feet like unto fine brass. So now John the Revelator is described, John the Revealer is describing Christ's feet, right? He's now describing to us who've never seen Christ physically, his feet, the color of this man's feet, which would be no different from the rest of his body. That's right. 
as if they burn in a furnace. So go back to that brass part. Verse 15, and his feet like unto fine brass. His feet was like unto fine brass. What color is brass? It's like a brown, like a goldish looking color. It's like a brown, he said goldish color. It's, it's like a brown color, right? It's a derivative for brown. Who's brown in? It ain't that hard to understand. We just gotta read. We just gotta stop allowing the pastor to talk all his mess to us. As if they burned in a furnace. So not only was his skin brown, right? Not only was it brown, it went further to say and explain what color Christ was. Not only is it brown, but it looked like he was burnt. He was burning Mac Black. You see what I'm saying? He was a very dark skinned man. That's the, that's the description of Christ. We're not saying this is Christ. We're saying he would look more like this than he would like that. Right. That's a destroyed mindset that our people have. We walking around thinking this guy. Thus, we look at our children and our people like they're nothing. Right. Who would, give me the, I got you, give me the service. I got you, I got you. Lord, 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 Lord. Lord. We gonna show you who the servants are. The servants of the Most High God. Thank you, Austin. We're going to show you, show you who the servants of the Most High God is. All right? Leviticus chapter 25 and verse 55. Uh -huh. For unto me, the children of Israel are servants. The Bible says to God, the children of Israel. You seen this sign yet? Look at that sign real closely and tell me which one of your father, which, which would you say your, uh, the nationality of your father is? All right? The, read that again. To me, the children of Israel are servants. The Bible says these people are God's servants. God's servants. They are my servants whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt where we served slavery underneath the Egyptians for 400 years. Sounded familiar to America. We served for 400 years, right? I am the Lord, your God. The Bible says, I am the Lord, your God. Your God. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.